Now before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online, also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I will show you something amazing. So basically, Samsung has given you a powerful tool on your Galaxy S10 to hide photos, videos, messages, documents, or basically any other file type that you want to hide inside a secret and secure environment so nobody can see what you're hiding. And of course, this entire secret vault is fully protected by a unique pin or a password of your choosing. So let's dive in and discover how to hide file. All right, so the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually set up the secure folder for the first time so you guys can follow along with me. So let's go to the settings really quickly. And then the first thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to biometrics and security, scroll down a little bit and you'll see the secure folder. It says, keep your personal files and apps safe and secure. So let's tap on that. And it says, welcome to secure folder, protect your data and make secure copies of your apps. Now let's click continue really quickly. And then it's gonna ask me to put in my Samsung account password, which is perfectly fine. Let's do that right now. And then let's click okay. All right, so it's creating our secure folder for the first time. And let's just wait for the process to complete. If you do this for the first time, it takes a couple minutes here to get this up and running. It is creating a secure environment. Now this is very important. You wanna, you wanna pick a pin number for your secure folder. When you pick up this pin number, it doesn't have to be the same pin number you use to unlock your smartphone. It can be another pin number that is exclusive to the actual secure folder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a pin number over here, and then I'm also gonna activate my fingerprints to access the secure folder. So secure folder can be accessed with a pin, password, pattern, or your fingerprints. Fingerprints, all right? So let's click next over here. Uh, let's pick a brand new pin number. I'm just going to keep, keep something simple here for demonstration. And that's it. That is, in fact, our secure folder. Now, when I go into the settings of the secure folder really quickly, there's something you just have to do immediately. So go to the settings and then tap on auto lock secure folder and make sure this is set to immediately. So that means the moment you exit the secure folder, it gets locked out so nobody else can enter it unless they put a pin number or authenticate your fingerprints. So let's go back out. This is the secure folder. If I exit it and if I try to go back into it, and of course now after you activate this secure folder, it is gonna be in your app drawer. So if I go to a Samsung folder, you'll see the secure folder. If you can't find it, just search for it right there, okay? And you're gonna find it. So that's a secure folder. It's all good to go. So if I tap it this time, it's going to ask me to put my fingerprint or my PIN number. So let's just do that and we're inside. Now what I'm going to show you guys is I'm going to show you guys how to move photos, notes, and other private files into your secure folder. So let's go to gallery real quick over here. I've got a couple pictures here. Let's say that I want to hide this picture here because it is a private photo. All you do is go into your gallery, tap that button, and simply tap on move to secure folder. And when you put your PIN number in, all right, it is going to move that item to your secure folder. Now, if I go back to that gallery album, it's not in here. But if I go into my secure folder right over here, and again, it's going to ask me to put the PIN number or the fingerprint. Let's click OK. If I go into my gallery, boom, it's going to be right here. Let's just click allow on this one. So that's the one that I've secured. Now, when I'm done with this photo and I wanna unsecure it, let's say it, it's not private anymore, you just wanna get rid of it, you wanna put it back in public space, you tap on this button and you say move out of secure folder. You tap that and it's gone, all right? So you can move photos, images, and files in and out of secure folder. Now, when I go back into my gallery over here, uh, right here, oh, that's the secure folder gallery, so as you can see, even the secure folder gallery is not visible when you tap the Recents app buttons. But the regular gallery here that's in the public space is in fact visible. So if I go back here, that photo is right there. Now if I wanted to move a bunch of pictures together, I can do that as well. I can just press and hold, tap on four of them, tap on this, and say Move to Secure Folder. Put my PIN number in every single time it asks me to do that because not anybody can just add photos to your secure folder. Now, when I go back into the secure folder gallery right here, okay, and I 
put my fingerprint, those photos are right there. This is fantastic. Now, secure folder is much more than this. Uh, if I were to go over here, uh, let me just uh, bring up my notes application. So here's the notes application. I've got two notes right over here. And here's the regular note and here's a secure note. Now, if I wanted to create a secure note in the private folder, in my secure folder, what I would have to do is I would have to go into the secure folder. So tap on secure folder, put my uh, authentication in there and launch Samsung notes. And from here, I would create a brand new note, real passwords. All right, so when I click save on this one, it is now saved within my secure folder because I accessed Samsung Notes via my secure folder. So when I exit, go back to the regular notes right over here, Samsung Notes, this is the regular notes. You see the two old files in here. You do not see the one that I just securely created. So to securely create a note, you go into your secure folder, put your uh, passcode in, and then go into Samsung Notes and then you can create files in here that remain in here uh, hidden behind your pin number or your fingerprints. So that's absolutely fantastic. And of course, the funny thing is every single time you launch your secure folder and you perform actions inside it, everything that you do in the secure folder remains inside it. So if I go to the camera right now, and if I take a photo, okay, this photo that I just took from the camera that was in the secure folder, let me go back out, is in fact saved into the gallery that's also in the secure folder right here. That was a black photo because the camera is facing down, but you get the idea. Everything you do in the secure folder stays in the secure folder. If I go to the contacts and add a brand new contact here, it is going to only be available via this app when you launch secure folder. If I go out into the regular camera, regular gallery, uh, if I go to the regular gallery, you do not see that black picture. And that's because that was done securely in the private environment. So it's, it's very essential that you guys grasp that uh, concept. Now, after you grasp the fact that you can move files back and forth, one more thing I'm going to show you just for the sake of uh, people that need full details. Uh, if you go to Samsung, if you go to My File, just an example. And if I go into one of these recent files over here, for example, let's just say this one. I can also perform secure folder operations from my file. So I can tap this and move it to secure folder. Doesn't have to be a, 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 an image. It could be a music file. It could be an audio file. It could be a PDF file. Could be an APK, APK installation file. Whatever you want uh, can be moved to the secure folder from this location, from my files to secure folder. And of course, you can access your uh, SD card if you have one, or you can use your internal storage to move files back and forth. All right, so let me show you a couple more things with a secure folder, which is very important. So if I go back in here, tap on secure folder, put my fingerprints in there, there's a bunch of things you can do with your secure folder. Uh, you can customize the icon, okay? So I recommend you do this and make this look like something regular so people don't even uh, suspect that you have something that you're hiding. So what you can do, oops, we just got rid of that by mistake. Let me put this in. So what I can do is I can go to customize icon, pick something like, you know, like this, S, and this rename this to uh, banking, all right? So when I rename this to S or B, banking, uh, it is natural for people to assume that this is just banking information that naturally they do not have access to, so they're not gonna suspect that you're hiding nasty photos in there. So if you go back out here, now if I go into the Samsung, it'll say B banking does not even say secure folder. So that's one thing you can do, all right? And then what, what else you can do is you can in fact go to the settings and you can do all these nice things. Uh, you can show or even hide the secure folder. I recommend showing it, but just renaming it because if you hide it, then you have to go back into settings and re-enable it every single time. You're not gonna lose your files, but it's gonna add some extra steps to access your secure fo folder. And then again, we talked about this and you can change the lock type over here anytime that you want. So let's put the secure folder pin number. You can make all these modifications. And then here's one thing that's extra. This is a dedicated fingerprint. So you can make sure that you only set one single finger on your hands uh, to unlock the secure folder. So if you don't wanna use your regular fingers, you can just maybe use your pinky finger right here 
and uh, that is going to be essential uh, and required to uh, unlock your secure folder. So that's a great little uh, trick right there, okay? So if you enable this, it's going to ask you to rescan a brand new finger just to unlock the secure folder. Uh, so that's some good thinking from Samsung. And of course, with the secure folder, uh, let's say that you do have a secure folder application that is trying to send you notifications. Uh, by default, they're all hidden. So when you do get notified from an app that is in your secure folder, you do not get notifications. But if you want to enable that, you can, uh, which kind of defeats the purpose, but you do have that option, all right? So that's fantastic. So that is secure folder. And one more thing, when you're in the interface here, let me just change this back to the regular uh, stuff over here. Click apply, and then you can add apps from here. So you can add additional apps into your secure folder and that's going to create another uh, uh, another copy of the actual application in your secure environment so whatever you do on your app in the secure folder is not going to reflect on the outside so you as you can see i can have instagram in there uh, i can have uh, my banking applications i can have my whatsapp application and i can have my youtube application so everything that i do on those apps uh, inside the folder here remains secret. Nobody has access to the history of what I watched on YouTube and stuff like that. And of course, I can just tap one here and add files using any one of these options. Images, videos, audio, documents, my files. Secure folder definitely is a brilliant little feature to hide photos, videos, files, whatever you want, and even create duplicates of special certain apps that you can have uh, that you can do private things on, all right? And that brings us to the end of this video. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.